So I'm here in my WordPress admin dashboard of my main website, Funnels to Income. And you can see here, these are the net sales this month. So what I'm selling is a product that I created, which is called the DV Design Guide Pro. And for those of you that don't know what this is, these are a set of presets for every single module for Divi, making it very, very easy to design a professional looking website super fast. So as you can see, Divi comes in with some uh, pre-made uh, layouts, but these are too generic. So in order for you to make your website look beautiful, you need to go in and do a lot of tweaking and designing, making this design process very, very long. And this also makes your website really, really fast. This is actually on sale, the Divi Design Guide Pro. It's only $27. The normal price is $49. I'll leave the link to that in the video description below. All right, so how all this started is I invested in Divi and I went for the lifetime access because I could see where Divi was going. They were doing a lot of updates and they had a lot in the pipeline. So I really invested earlier on because I don't like paying so much money every single year, renewing my licenses. So to sell my product, I use WooCommerce. Now in the past, I tried Thrivecart and I've also tried Kartra and these are paid platforms and to try and integrate them into WordPress was a bit of a pain. So I just went for WooCommerce. But out, out of the box, WooCommerce doesn't really work well because all it does is it creates you a product, sales page, and then the checkout page. And this doesn't really convert well. In order for you to make even extra money when selling products on your website and to also create beautiful landing pages, you are going to need a funnel builder. So in my example here, I use uh, WP Funnels, but you can use Cutflows. So there's quite a few products out there that can also uh, help you design professional looking landing pages and checkout pages. In addition to this, you're also going to need some sort of uh, email marketing platform. And in my case here, I use Fluent CRM and all this is on my actual website. Now, the reason why you need Fluent CRM is because when orders are being made, you can set up automations to send emails uh, out automatically once the uh, once someone purchases your product. So this just uh, takes away a lot of the manual work that you have to do as products are being bought on your website. So in the end, you're going to have a system that looks like this. You have a sales page, you have an upsell, you can also have a checkout. Now this with uh, just WooCommerce out, out of the box, you're not able to do that. So having upsells, downsells, and even uh, things like order bumps and checkout offers, this is going to really uh, help you have a complete uh, selling system. Now, in order for me to develop and test my product, I needed a system that allowed me to test and make sure that everything is working okay. But I didn't want to do this on a hosting platform because it's just a lot of work. So I came across a product called InstaWP. It is fantastic. In fact, I did a video about it. I'll leave the link to that in the video description below. I did a quick review and overview of how it works. Now, if you're a bit on a budget, you can also use uh, local WP. It also does a fantastic job, but at the moment I prefer InstaWP. So once my product was created, I knew I had to sell it. And this is where you are going to need a massive audience. And for some of you who are just starting off, this could be a challenge because you're going to need uh, a way of getting to uh, people to know about your product. And this is where you're going to need social media. So there's Facebook. I mean, of course you all know all these, but the main platform that I use is YouTube. But the main reason why I like YouTube is all my content is searchable. So you're going to need a source of traffic in order for you for people to know that you have a product. So remember earlier on, I mentioned that I chose Divi. Now, in my opinion, Divi is really, really, really powerful if you're going to be creating products to sell because they also have their marketplace and this marketplace is really, really powerful. Now, initially, I ignored it. I didn't really look at it in a very serious way. But when I started drilling in and seeing uh, some of the products that were being uh, created, I was really shocked at uh, the amount of money some of these uh, creators are making. For example, here, I just picked up uh, this at random. Uh, this is $99. It's a child theme and it has 400 and 485 sales. Now that is a lot of money. I and mean, in fact, it is 48,000 just from one product. But this creator does not just have one product. They have many, many products. In fact, they have uh, 13 products and they've sold 3,242. So as you can see, this could be a standalone 
type of business where you can just, you know, make money through that and not stress yourself or bother yourself with creating uh, websites for customers. Okay, so the question now is, how do we get started? So what I recommend is, if you haven't done so already, purchase Divi, and I would say go for the lifetime license because their marketplace is only going to grow because they are going to be updating Divi very, very soon to Divi 5, and it's going to be really, really awesome with even more features. So this platform is really, really important. So make sure you purchase Divi. Okay, so the second thing is you need to learn the basic fundamentals of design. These involve color theory. You also need to know how to use typography, photography, layouts. So these key areas here are important for you to design professional looking websites. In fact, I have a free course. The link to that is in the video description below. You can check it out. This is going to help you get up and running super fast. Next, you need to sign up for InstaWP. This is just going to make the process of testing your designs and testing uh, the functionality and all of that work really well for you. Now, if you're on a budget and you don't want to uh, go for the Insta WP, there's also another product called Local WP. This as well is going to help you uh, design your websites locally on your machine. Next, you need to join my community of designers. This is also very important because uh, we can share ideas. As this community is growing, you're going to notice that um, we're all going to be like-minded and we can share ideas and tips and even promote each other. Now, if you want to take this to the next level, I ha also have a membership on my website. Uh, currently, there's a discount. Now, this membership has a lot of uh, design courses. You can also uh, have access to child themes. These can help you design your websites faster. And also I do live workshops. So at any point, if you have any questions uh, during these live workshops, you can ask me all your questions and I can help you, um, you know, solve anything that you are, you know, struggling with. So even I was surprised that the DV Design Guide uh, Pro 2 actually sold about $3,000. It was really, really amazing. So you can imagine the potential that this has. And I would highly, highly recommend you guys to create a product, put it in the marketplace, sell it. I know it can seem very, very overwhelming. And um, in my case, I have a bit of an advantage because I worked with Elegant Themes. I also have a YouTube channel, but everything starts somewhere. And right now I would say things are much easier because with the marketplace, if you have a really good looking uh, product, you can go in there, apply once they accept it. I mean, they're doing part of their promotions for you. I mean, Divi has almost a million uh, customers. So chances are, if you get even um, half a percent buying your product, that's a lot. So I really, really encourage you to create a product using Divi. And because this is, I think, uh, the only page builder that has a marketplace, this will be a very, very good starting point. But of course, you can diversify and create products for other you know, platforms as well, like Elementor. In fact, uh, I'm going to be designing some um, child themes for Elementor as well, because there's also quite a lot of people who are in the Elementor space. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.